Hey, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I cover tactical and immersive games. And I'm back with Gunner Heat PC, and for those who don't know what Gunner Heat PC is, it is a armored tank game that combines simulation and game mechanics. And it currently takes place in the late Cold War era in Germany's Fulda Gap. In this video, I'll be playing, in my opinion, one of the challenging missions in Gunner Heat PC called Marketable Mayhem with the M60A3s. Our task is to assault an East German position, pretty well fortified one, and to seize the objective. I'll explain more on the planning. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It will really mean a lot to support my channel. And as always, enjoy. Hey everyone, here's the map. So our main objective is to capture Objective Savage and we are to use 1st Platoon tanks into Battle Position Charlie. 1st Platoon will make their way into BP Charlie and will set up a firing position overwatching the objective in hills. And we can expect the enemy tanks, either T-55s or BMPs and even BTRs to be well fortified and dug in. Should expect the enemy to be well defended, we'll put up some heavy resistance. Once you have set up a position and clear most of the area, we will control 2nd Platoon, which will move westwards towards the hill and then move south to the objective following the axis as you can see in the map. You can expect further resistance either from the west or from the south near the objective and when that is clear we will move towards Ectric Savage and capture it and then we'll call it a day. This is supposed to be a mission that will help the mechanics of Gunner Heat PC by controlling other platoon assets as well as moving and covering so we'll see how this goes. Okay I'm gonna pause the mission and resume. And if you guys haven't checked out my most recent Gunner PC video update, I encourage you guys to check that out. They also added the M60's 50 caliber gun sight, which you can use. Uh, hopefully get these against PC targets, but who knows. They also removed the damaged logs on the top right, so we're going to have to rely on our PC as well as our eyes to see. I'm going to scan. Looks like we've got a tank on the left. And on the fire. It's going to trench and target destroyed. Look at that turret flying. And keep scanning. Got targets on the right. Okay, so the tank on the right is destroyed. Oh my gosh, that missile. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that PC, man. That tank is still up. They go for that PC, switch heat. Okay, that was the one that destroyed our tank. Okay, good. Alright, we're still in this fight. We're gonna keep moving up. And moving the line. Spacing is to about 50 meters. So they're going to be doing overwatch and then we're going to switch to our second platoon, which they're going to be attacking but right here, push it up. And we're going to move up. So we're going to move in a wedge, make sure these guys are going to be close. We're going to move due west and then we're going to make our way south. So while 1st Platoon is set up in a fire position, mission is showing off that you can change to different platoons as well as covering and moving. And I'm glad that these types of missions are added so that it can teach you some stuff. Okay, we're going to keep moving. See, those are the damages that we've done so far. Let's see the hill. So far, we only lost one tank from first platoon, so not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so the hill is to the front, and we're gonna cross through this road here. And then I'm gonna switch us to an echelon right because you can expect uh, enemies to our right as well too so we're gonna be, make sure that we're in a good position first and wait for them to move into an echelon right cover our right flank
Okay, we're gonna keep moving up. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new map here. It's one of the newest maps. Click Intel reports that the enemies bring in armored reinforcements. Alright. We can expect enemies either from the objective or somewhere else. Hopefully somewhere to our front where we can expect them. Let's see. Gotta keep eyes out. Hopefully the first platoon is looking out for us. And where I'm looking at is where the objective should be. Oh, I see them. They are to our left. Alright. Let's move in. Out of position. Let's move in the wedge. Ooh, that was a good one. Alright, we're going to be in a pretty close knife fight very soon. Something right to our front. Looks like it's a PC. Switch heat next. Heat up. Sure. Target. Cease fire. Okay. So these are the T fifty fives that were. I guess they were the reinforced platoon. Oh no! Right there. Try to use the battle site. There you go. Target destroyed. Ooh, okay. So first platoon is down to one tank. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna keep moving to our objective. They did well in distracting them for us though. And we lost one of our M60s as well too, so. Okay, we're gonna make our way to the objective. In the case, we'll get our heat indexed. And wedge. Actually, I'm going to get them in the line once we go up the hill. Yeah, they're partying our position over there. Okay, we're almost to objective. Could be enemy resistance up ahead. So wait to I'm gonna wait till we get into a proper position. Okay, I'm gonna slowly move up. Okay, thermals on. For no visuals yet. Alright, we've taken the objective. And the enemy is retreating. Oh, I do see something. To our left. Hey, maybe it's a good time to use the uh the caliber gun. There he is. There you go. Target destroyed. And we have taken the objective, and let's take a look at the after action review. Okay, overall, not too bad. I would say this is a pretty hard mission. We lost quite a few. This is a, a pretty tricky one at first. So, the first engagement, we saw a tank on the left. We took him out, and then we also got hit by a Mayuka. And then the other T55s were dug in as well, too. We also tried to hit this one. Which I think destroyed, might have destroyed the crew. And then we got the PCs, the Sable Round just went through the side. And then we got the tank on the right side as well, too. And this one went through. Yeah, you're better off using heat against PCs because that one just went right through. Didn't do too much. At this point, we controlled the second platoon, as you can see on the left side. And it looks like the T55s did some good damage against our first platoon. Ooh, this one just missed. Hit, but it went through. 
So I think, yeah, so we lost one of our tanks in the second platoon. I think the BMP got him right here. Maybe a heat round. Yeah, I might have disabled him right here. And this one, yeah, this is a direct kill for this tank right here, unfortunately. I also like to point out that first platoon did a really good job on taking out the T-55s on this hill. You can see the damage that they did. So right here, this one was hit. It went right through the gunner's head and his brain as well too. Ooh, that sucks. So this one we managed to use heat, but it was crushed by the impact angle. That this one took a while to destroy, but we eventually got him. And then we were moving up to flank, and we flanked the enemy. We were using our battle sights for this one, uh, since we were pretty close. We were like 76 meters away from them. And then lastly, the BMP was retreating, and our tank got him right up close. So we switched to our 50 cal, and we sprayed him with it. If there were infantry, we would have sprayed the whole BMP down anyways. Uh, but yeah. Alright guys, this was a pretty difficult mission to, to play. Not gonna lie, the beginning part was hard, especially where the tanks and PCs were positioned at. Um, it's not a very easy one for beginners because you can just get wrecked in the beginning, as you can see. Um, but this is a good mission that introduces the mechanics of Gunner PC where you can change to a different section, as well as covering and moving to a battle position as well. Since the enemies were well entrenched, you kind of have to aim a little higher to get the turret and to angle it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was a fun challenge. But yeah, I'm interested and curious to know what you guys think about this mission. It's probably one of the most difficult ones to play, but it's alright. Not every mission needs to be that easy anyways. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date. And as always, I'll be covering more Gun Heat PC, so stay tuned for more. And as always, stay blessed.